So Eric has been tracking a real scoundrel across the countryside. Apparently he wants to do some sort of uprising, rebellion, fight against oppression. Well, if he's fighting against oppression, I suppose Eric has oppression right now. But she's actually brave and merciful, extremely merciful. Look at that. Look at that. I'm pointing with my finger at that rose right there. Look at how merciful she is. Compassionate. Man, Erica the Brave's personality really flip-flops, doesn't it? Let's see that compassion in action against these people. Oh, they're all on mounts. How wonderful. Well, we actually do need a lot of two-handed skill to make this whacker work. So I think we will start with this, even if it's a little bit less. Oh, okay. We'll try the next one. O okay. Nearly worked. Holy shit. These guys know what it is to throw things. Okay, we're a bit slow here. Oh god, the weapon is so short. I'm not sure fighting... Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Ah! Well, we're fast, but we're not horse fast. Ow! Alright, fine. This is not the, the time for the hammer. Let's put our arches down in one spot instead of having them charging around. Charging around to those arches is stupid. Oh, I hit someone I didn't even see. Holy moly. Time to bring out the big stabber. Oh my goodness, stuff is going on everywhere. Ah! 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 Okay. Gotta remember. Stab. Stabbing is best against the horses. Oh, looks like they're just riding into the throng of soldiers all on their own. Happy to uh, get educated on what real oppression is. Looks like some of them might be fleeing. I don't see any more attacks. Yeah. Wow, we're really getting a lot of inputs from now for that for some reason. Huh. Well, that was great. Now we've got one happy customer there. But you know, something I've really been noticing... Odok's not earning any money! That just won't do, and we just picked up 45 healthy men. Healthy as horses, aren't they? So we're gonna go to our workplace, and we're gonna donate. Alright, we also picked up some random woman. She was in our prisoners, thought she was a looter, she wasn't. She can work here too. Won't say no to a free boost of workforce here. And we've, we've got another butt-slapping... Cut Percy person. Okay, well, that's interesting. We'll run after them and we're too fast. These guys, they can't escape us. Well, we'll do the same to this one as we did to the other one. Honestly, I mean, I don't even know what this is going to do. I guess there's going to be another insane alchemist. Maybe something else is going to happen. Okay, we'll, we'll keep her for now without putting her into Odok to work. See if something strange goes on. And so here we are in the Western Empire where war has broken out. Erika is here next to Sesterdam Castle with 216 defenders only. 20, huh? No, 42 are of the garrison, which means 174 of these defenders are worthless. Over here, Adram's army is focusing on Ortesia. Now, there is an army of the Empire over here somewhere, and we shall engage at Sister Dame Castle. And two things shall happen. Either that army will go for us and prove no assistance to Atesia, or it shall go to defend the more important place, and we shall have free reign of this castle. Huzzah! Oh dear, two fools have decided that Erica is worth the trouble. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, just like this unexpected beard coming through this man's helmet, they will unexpectedly get destroyed. This man shall join our clan, and then I can marry him off so we get a woman in as well. On that note, actually, we do have more people in here. Yes, Vermina has married Kinteg, which means she joined the clan. That means we need to coerce more people to join the clan, and they have to be men, because then we get women, and if we get them women, well, then they're in the clan and the family, and whoa, there's suddenly way too many people in here. But that does mean that when Erica is ready, she will have many people join her cause. Time to smite these silly willies. Now this is going to be a simple smash. Yeah, I guess that's it. Simple smash. They're going to come for us and they're going to run up this hill here and we're going to show them the meaning of fear. 
Now we shall see if they dare come to us. And it does look like they may. Here they come! Strike them hard and fast, man! Let's go, men! Show them what we're made of here! Erica the Braves, Coldwood troops are here to crush the enemy! Resistance is futile! These archers have got nothing on us! Don't worry, Erica the Brave is a bit slow, but that's because her, she's not the most efficient two-handed user yet. Although of how this is going, I feel that she will be soon. Showing these men a fine exit from the battle. And the rest are fleeing. I can see why. <laughs> Glorious! Ah, uh, Archon Crotor, your stuff is ours! Forest, yours too! And so we shall continue the siege with such an amazing victory. We shall continuously try and press this Add Nearby Bandits to your party button, even though they probably won't work. Oh, it seems one of our prisoners is in fact a noble man! Another one! Yes! Shall they have the chance of joining our banner? Well, if they're... Okay, sure, do you know what? It's actually a woman. Sure! Let's go to the black. Let's hope that she's actually a part of the family and not... Oh, no, she's a follower. Ah, she looks fine. She'll do. She has bow skills. Excellent. She's a criminal. That's not surprising. Anyway, there's a big army coming over. Shall we stay or shall we go? We could even lead an assault. <sighs> Ooh, this is a tough choice. And we decided to go for it. Yes, indeed. We did not feel like sitting around letting some tiny amount of weak defenders bully us into not sieging them down even though there's a big army coming nobody cares we are gonna kill these guys we're gonna go chat mode and we're just gonna take this castle and if they want to get it back they are simply going to have to take it back now does it mean that we shouldn't do it because we don't have many archers no in fact there is only one choice, and the choice is to simply man up, or tit up as it were, and go for it. Erica shall show everyone in the world that she is not to be messed with. Ow. There we go, they, they are going, they're letting her in, they're letting her, come on, they're letting her in, yes, they're letting her in. Time is now, men. Time is now. Let's go, oh, yep, hey, excuse me, no. No one said you could do that. And we've got to get through. Oh, our men are a little bit through. Actually, it might just be a good idea to guard this ballista because we cannot afford him to shoot through our, well, hard work, as it were. All our armor, all our troops is a lot of hard work. But just keeping him off is actually very good, I'd say. Oh. I think our men are doing good work. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, maybe there's not even anybody here. Can't tell. Let's not lose all our health over shit. This, this man is shooting at us. Okay, we need to find a safe way down so we can actually open the front door. I wish we would swing this faster, but we are... Uh, yeah, we've not been using too many weapons enough for that. Ooh. Looks like we are doing fairly well. I may not really coming up. Not yet. But we can stop that. Whoa. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's okay, okay. Here we go. Front gate, front gate. Okay, can we... Everybody, um... Delegate off. 
and charge. We need to make sure this door stays open and we need everybody to charge through now. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, fuck! No! No! Just as we... Did they close it again? Oh! And nobody would... We said charge and nobody's going for it! Really? <sighs> oh well, looks like it doesn't matter too much. Well, look at this. That's... This is fantastic. Thank you, game. I guess we've got no ch choice but to send troops, but I feel like we're just going to lose a lot for no reason by doing this, but whatever. Oh, we only lost four. Well, that's okay then. I'd say that's worth it for... That's a lot of everything. We also had absolutely no one die, which is fantastic. And we won't... We were not going to show mercy because we actually lost our mercy for doing that last time. We'll just pillage it normally. Ah, uh, fine. Nothing happened. Well, we took Sesterdame Castle. We took a castle with no siege engines and shit. And I feel like we got to run away now because uh, these guys are on their way. And we have above 100 troops only. And I feel like we can't really defend that. And so the army of the um, Western Empire, I was confused because of how far east we are, <laughs> decided not to go uh, besiege Chesterdam Castle apparently because it's still standing with 11 defenders. Interesting. And we healed up and uh, well, well, what's this? Some dude with apparently more troops than us and we're just gonna go behind him a little bit and so he can't run away and then, oh no, there's a captor event nearby. And Forrest, one of our new captives, uh, is apparently trying to eat some bread. Sure, we'll let him eat some bread because that means he'll have more health for him to get tortured with. Anyway, let's say hello to Saratis here. He looks like he could be a good, uh, good warm buddy. Oh, oh yes. Why is that Patanian man here? He seems like a friendly fellow. Just look at that derpy expression. And that derpy chin. Actually, he could be a total chad if he didn't look so bored with life. Let's hope he's not too bored with life, because we do want him to survive. And here we go. They are actually extremely close. We will uh, afterwards tell the bowmen to just sit put, but everybody else needs to just charge in before these men get to position. Because as we know it, the uh, AI does need some time before it uh, can make the brain uh, things. If it doesn't have time to do that, then the brain uh, doesn't things. Which means uh, all is good. How did I not stab that? I don't know. Alright, we're using a shield. That was the problem. Oh well, no pro- Oh my god, that is not- Oh, where are all our men? Men? Oh fuck, no, 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 that's not what I- Oh fuck. Footmen, come here you bastards! Our footmen are just stupidly, I don't know what the heck they're doing, but they gotta go here. Hopefully they will actually attack now because we need them to stop chasing after the bloody cavalry. We need them to go up onto the infantry. <coughs> this is looking better, a little bit at least. Although it does look like even this dude who is right in the middle of it is not only going for them. Oh, okay, bulk of them here. I think this is good. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Here we go, look. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Right up into the bulk of them. It wasn't too difficult to ignore those bloody horses for just two seconds, was it? And let the horsemen deal with the horsemen, and they are to deal with the horsemen. Even though we do need our infantry to deal with the horsemen, but you know what I mean. I think, actually, the I shouldn't really be talking to the uh, NPCs because they are, actually have no idea what they're doing ever in their life. They would they would make the same choices if the enemies were controlling them. So you know, it is what it is. Yes, yeah, so I slap that man, and then I'll slap his horse. I know it's a different horse, I just don't care. And so it goes. The elite Codman troops have vanquished yet another weak Imperial man. Bask in the influence. Oh, yes. Oh. <clears throat> Enough. I choose to live to fight another day. 
I trust you will respect the custom of war and allow me to pay a fair ransom. Actually, yes, Seratis, we will. Which is your belongings. Man, we've really got some expensive shit over here, don't we? <laughs> and now we have another prisoner. Mm. Ah, uh, look at these people. Just four nice people. Not ready to be tortured at all, right? Hehehehe. <laughs>